Oh, the camera's down a little bit. Yeah. There we go. At least that will work. At least for some time. Anyways, hello. Oh, let's see what's something. There we go. Hello, it's your boy from 1996. Welcome back to another episode of Low Standards. In this episode, we'll be tackling a game that I've been playing recently again. And that game is Pokemon Coliseum for the GameCube. If you're wondering why I'm playing on the Wii, well, after a little mishap with Chicken Little, this one is slightly different. The memory card that I have owned for some time, I believe it's my first memory card that I own, does have a tendency to be a bit strenuous on the GameCube, as for some odd reasons, whenever it's in the GameCube slot, memory card slots recently, it just decides not to work anymore. So that's why I'm playing it on the Wii, because the Wii can register the GameCube memory card I've been using. Which I'll probably get a replacement for that, so that way we don't have to keep straining ourselves of certain games not working because they require the A slot of the GameCube in order for the game to be read, which makes no sense for certain games, to be honest. But why is it to be in one particular slot, of all things? But whatever. Also, I'm using the bed rest as a, um, as the third we, uh, leg for the camera angle, so it's a little bit joint disjointed because the camera is a lot heavier compared to the other cameras I usually record using this technique. I need to get a new tripod at some point. All right, in this episode, we're gonna be tackling uh, one of the first cyber admins. I decided to start the episode here, because I played this game only two days, but I've gotten to this portion of the game already, and I kind of want to get to here and record the episode, because I want to go ahead and show off uh, a certain Cypher Admin, which everyone wished would be in the game more. Before we go to him, we gotta go ahead and uh, go through one of his last bodyguards. So, Dookie's finished! It's the dawning of Mirror V's time! All right, we're against Rollerboy Evat. Oh yeah, for some odd reasons, with the names of here of, this, of the characters in this game, it's really weird. They're really weird names. I think the names never got through translation until XD. Yeah, Pokemon Coliseum is a little bit interesting as it basically uses the double battle format from the third generation Pokemon and makes it its main theme in this one. All right, so I got Quillfish and Dunsparce to work here because I recently caught them. A while back, and I wanted to go ahead and lower down their uh, shadow bars so that way they can uh, be purified easier. I've been doing this with most of my Pokemon, so if I ever bring uh, out Umbreon or Espeon from my uh, PC, they're still in their 20s. Yeah, I kind of been holding them back so that I can just continuously um, take down the uh, shadow bar, the, the uh, bars of the shadow Pokemon I've been capturing recently because. Um, Unlike XD, which I can probably never really do a fi- uh, a, Well, I'll probably get to that game at some point, but I don't have a physical copy version anymore. But uh, in this game in particular, the way you purify Pokémon is by putting them through battle or using incense. But the incense, or senses, is not available until later on in the game. So I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way, which seems to be the more faster way. Because they lose down a lot of their shadow bar whenever they reach hyper mode. So that way you can call them and it takes a chunk out of their, of their bar. Well, not to the point where it can go to the next part. They've made purifying shadow Pokemon more easier in XD, but as I said before previously, I don't have a physical copy. I can't play the emulation at the moment. When I get to redownload again to play through it, and I've been playing through it so far already, and the last time I played through it was um, was back in uh, Cinedark Island. So maybe I'll do that after I beat the game. Speaking of beating games, it's really good to say. I didn't mean the dialogue, I don't care. But, um... I'm all, at the point of this recording, which would say like near the end of February of 2022, I am almost done with Pokemon Generation 4 on the Switch, Brilliant Diamond. Now, here's the main reason why I want to record this episode, which you'll see. I'm going to say the boxes here. First. Is because of one particular Cypher Admin and one character people really wanted to return in the Pokemon scene. Yeah! Wait, we use it a little louder, because. This deserves to be a little bit louder. <laughs> the best Pokemon character in existence, Mirror B. When I first saw this guy, it's like, okay, this guy's a little tacky when I was really younger. But when I look at him now, in my current age, in current ages, it was like, this is clearly the best character of the game. 
Yeah, Woot! It's about time, darlings! I'm frat so fat and tired of waiting for you! Stop the music! Oh. Oh, you kept me waiting for so long, I decided to work up a transpiration! Whoa! But you, you, my, you have been busy being naughty and messing up my, my plans. It was oh so close for everything to turn out just right, just the way we hoped. But I can salvage our plan by beating you, little man, and so there's time for one last frantic dance before the grand finale. Let the music play! Cyber Evan B would like to battle. Hello. The character with the most specifically amazing uh, theme song with the most ridiculous of teams. Most of his teams consist of Ludicolo, which mostly rely on rain dish and water spra water uh, based strategies because they have rain dance. Let's see what we're gonna do. Uh, we have to get to getting poison moves off Quillfish. We're gonna go heal Quillfish up a little. I bought like a hundred potions because um. There's an exploit in the game I've been using since I played Coliseum uh, emulation-wise the second time in the for, uh, forever, but, you know, it, it, it's encoded into the game. There's a particular trick when you use a Pokeball of any kind, if you use it on the first Pokemon slot area when you're using in battle, and then switch the, the ball's placement in the item section with the next Pokemon you're going to use for battling, uh, you basically cook the game into using a different ball entirely, so it doesn't actually register you using the ultra the uh, ball you're using. I just realized these guys have Astonish, and it's perfect because Dunsparce is a normal type, so they can't do Jack. Wait, if you haven't played Pokemon, of course, then that's the obvious. Uh, I plan. You wonder why Ludi uh, Ludi Umbreon and Espeon are not on my team right now? Is it because I will make them part of my team once I finish purifying most of those starting Shadow Pokemon I've recently gotten? I just want to go ahead and purify such as much as I can, but Dunsparce for certain is going to be part of my team. And you probably ask yourself, why Dunsparce? And some of you ask, why not? And I'm in the why not crowd. I have a Dunsparce in Pokemon uh, Heart Gold, which I've forgotten to finish still. I really need to finish all my Pokemon games this year, just just because I've been I've, I've just been slacking off in finishing games since last year and the year before that. I'm really now able to finish certain games recently, but this is a game I definitely need to refinish again. Fuck you, Ludicolo. I, I love you, but still, I think if Mira B would ever to return into the Pokemon series, I know that's probably impossible since their uh, company has been producing different games entirely now, as opposed to working on a game similar to the uh, main generation games. But uh, if Mirabu would ever return, I think his team would still have a Ludicolo, because that's obvious, you gotta have a Ludicolo. Um, but given the Pokemon now, I think uh, a Pokemon that would definitely, uh, the Pokemons rather, that would definitely be part of his team is every version of Oricorio from Gen 7, because Oricorio has a specific dance, style, and uh, typing advantage, depending on what style of dance they're doing in battle, which is really cool, so having all versions of that in his team kind of fit considering his dancing flair. Why would you use water? I know that's your strategy with your rangish stuff, but still. I still think about and focus on one Ludicolo at a time. Pig, use min oh, I should have used Minimize at some point. Yeah, I'll use Minimize for Quillfish and I'll heal him up. You seem to be really focusing on Quillfish, because I guess Quillfish once it learns, a po once she learns a poison move, will be more devastating to deal with them. I think they're weak to, to poison because it's a grass type, and grass is weak to poison. I think that it's their only weakness. It's like say you fight against Quagsire, uh, and their only weakness is poison because poison is strong against ground. Is grass is poison strong against grass? There's a bug. Maybe that's the other way around. No, oh, no, I can't remember now. Oh yeah, that may be the reason why Quillfish is such a big target, is because Quillfish has uh, Minimize, which allows them to avoid more because their defense will grow, and their evasiveness will rose as long as they keep using Minimize. Pokemon here are definitely made to be useful within team battles. Is it Sharply, or is it, uh, oh no, it's just a simple, uh, a simple one dash, I mean, one movement less. Now you won't move plus, one invasiveness plus. It's not a sharply or 
um, what's that other one called? Shit. I forgot what is it called again. When you when when a move is more multiplied depending on using it. I know. I think. Well, minimize is like once, but then it's. I think it's sharply. Or what's the third one? I know there's a third one which is like three times of usage. Why you keep attacking Dunsmarts? <laughs> you keep using us. Oh my god, okay. Hyper mode is annoying to deal with sometimes. If Hyper mode is uh, within usage of your Shadow Pokemon, they won't respond to your attacks. And sometimes attacks you. Which I haven't gotten to that portion yet because I've mostly just been calling. I think sometimes they will respond, their attacks are stronger, but they will still not respond to your attacks when using Hyper mode. Because, you know. They're going absolutely angry will attack anyone. So we'll let's do it Why the this Ludicolo? <laughs> I'm doing well. And the Ludicolos keep attacking my Dunsparce like that. And thanks to minimize, uh Coldfresh is pretty much untouchable at the moment. But at least you have a good point. Why is it that the first move you get to learn is YES! Oh, wait, that's a, that's a double thing? Okay, that makes sense. Wait, Stuntar's normal or is he a bug type? I think he's normal. Yeah, he's normal. I, I can't remember from Gen 2, but I don't remember if at any point they changed his, uh, its type during any later generation Pokemon. I've only now gotten back into recent Pokemon because of Brilliant Diamond, but playing through this game again, I have to go and revert back to my original knowing of Pokemon. I mean, the last Pokemon game I completed was Let's Go Pikachu. I was Let's Go Eevee. And before that was Pokemon Red, so I, I'm still stuck in Generation 1 brain knowledge, despite them being already jumping a few gaps in over the years. Ah <laughs> oh, man, Tsudobudo was a hard Pokemon for the cat that was younger. Because, unlike my cousin who would know exactly this game's rules, me was just defeat Pokemon and win. I was not realizing to myself when I was younger that you cannot catch any wild Pokemon until XD, which I probably wouldn't anymore now because my, uh, as I explained earlier, my XD copy is broken. The strangest thing is that it worked for a good a while, but the one specific thing that would hold it back from me fully playing the game, or my cousin playing the game, is that the game would immediately crash if it ever reaches the only BS news uh, News broadcasts? So whenever a broadcast happens, the game will immediately freeze up. Eventually, I think I threw my copy away now, so I no longer have it to really try and see if it worked out. Or use my new Wii, which I got from my cousin, which is an old Wii, and see if I can try running the game again. Oh my god. No! Not my Dunsparce! Oh, whatever. I'm going to switch to Rimmel Rage so I can try getting rid of that freaking thing. In terms of like, not not being in the Pokemon, but the Shadow Bar. I know it's going to immediately get stoned because it's pseudo world for frick's sake. Alright, uh, what does Lock On do again? I always forgot, and it's been a while now. I think it just specifies to Pokemon their stats. But I can just look up any guide in order to really know that. Oh yeah, I have a guide of XD, which I, fa I used to own, and I found it, you know, besides it being all muddy and stuff and gross because of the rain one day. But I had a, I forgot I have a guide to XD, and I realized to myself, oh wait, no, that's not XD. No, my guide to XD is long gone. I'm thinking of the guide to um, the Kingdom Hearts 1 that I found recently. I used to have a guide for XD, but that went away a long time ago. It could be my garage, my family's garage still, or, or my cousin's garage, and that matter. Jeez, I really wish I could keep it though. We also had an old manual of emerald, which I could definitely use because I have like uh, a, a multi card that has emerald in it. But um, with XD, it was pretty fun to play. Dang it, I really wish I could. I'll, I'll just have to read all of it again, I guess, to play with it. Alright, go, Quillfish. Don't hurt Pseudo Willow too much. When you switch him out with uh, different Pokemon or they really deal some damage. Wait, since Pseudo Willow's rock, I don't think it can. Can I use electric type moves on him? Can he be paralyzed? Well, Rimmerade's dead, but it's not to be expected. Rimmerade, I believe, has the weakest level for any Shadow Pokemon you catch in the game. It starts out at level 20, and it's probably the easiest Pokemon you can screw up and knock out. Luckily, I have a perfect strategy that I've been working with recently playing through 
and support recently twice. But um, one of my strategies I used is that I would use Confuse Ray or some uh, Supersonic and then use uh, Thunder Wave. That way they can hurt themselves in the process and if they, if they, if they can't hurt themselves, I can also, you know, hold them off by using, oh my god, okay. Stop it! Stop it, Sudoodle! Oh, perfect! You did it! <laughs> I forgot it gives a physical move, but with Flappy's uh, ability, it'll allow me to, to, to freaking. All right, let's see if I can try catching it now, considering its current condition. The problem is, is that I may need to not do that next turn because Quillfish is currently in hyper mode, and that could be a bad situation there. Two Thunder Shock on Ludicolo because they're paralyzed. All right, first ball, let's go. On this awesome music, we'll never really hear again. Because when you fight Mirror B in um in the Real Game Tower, he will not have his signature music because he's so upset that he decides to use the music of the other admins, which we'll probably see, uh, probably do in the next episode on or something like that. Regardless, though, this game is fun. This fight eats up most of my gaming memory cards now, because my second memory card is 80%, uh, 80 megabytes. And this is usually 48 for our, uh, the save data, so I'm going to buy a new memory card in order to work things out. Okay, I don't think Quillfish is in the mail any danger. I'm just, you know, worried about the whole hyper mode stuff. You know, I'm just going to call him. We're going to go ahead and try to finish off Ludicola while, you know, paralyzation applies more to our Pokemon. I know I can't use Thunder because it's not weak against that due to its grass uh, subtype. At least they can't attack due to paralyzation. Oh shit. Stop attacking Quillfish. It did nothing wrong besides it looks funny. I would have Quillfish on my side, but then again, I cro Croconaw at the start of the game rather than uh, Bayleaf or, um, or uh, Quilava. So getting Quillfish would be like a little unusualness because I'd just be running into it and see if I'm running in uh in my in my uh in my, know, but uh in my multi card for I think Pokemon Emerald I think in there yeah they're running a full wire team for some reason I could change at any point if I wanted to okay just took two balls okay all I gotta do now is just get rid of uh, Ludicolo and I don't know win the uh, battle. Oh my god, what is it with you in Rain Dance? I wonder, if, it, if Rain Dance is on the field, would that heal uh, Quagsire? Because Quagsire has the ability to be healed by water moves, but... If the environment is fully watered, does that also apply, or is it just straight up any battle move that is a water type move? And if there's someone Manta and I'm gonna be able to switch up uh, Flappy with uh, Metatite in order just to get their channel bars down. I kind of missed that old pose. I prefer that pose over with Mantite just standing up on the top right on 3D generation Pokemon games. Now these days. That's another thing I kind of miss. I do like how the, the three Pokemon games from uh, generations two, three, and four both had these like well, well not through four, one through four, because it also applied to Pokemon back then on the N64 through Stadium. I kind of miss their over really dramatic paint animations as opposed to just falling over and slightly either being defeated in current 3D gen Pokemon games. Uh, I can't keep up with your tempo. Oh no no, what a no no. I totally forgot his voice that I was trying to voice him with. I tried to go for like, I guessing the way Trigger Conroy and uh, Ray Navaris tried doing his voice. How, how, how dare you? Oh, dang, I listen to his voice again. Don't you dare think you'll get away with your latest outrage. One of these days, I will kick you great, I will get great pleasure in kicking you with my elegant dance steps. Oh, I'm not giving up our child Pokemon plan either. Let's go, escape! And Ludicolo just bounce away. I don't know what that sound is. 
And uh, do you hear that cry? She must be PLUSSEL! I think the cries came from behind that door. Also, that's why the name Brewy or whatever the child detector is. Because I don't really care about the name. I'm just gonna go ahead, take this. Contains iron files, iron file P, which is written in the cover. Purification of Pokemon. Shadow Pokemon are fighting machines created by closing the doors of their hearts. The process of restoring a Shadow Pokemon back to their original state is known as purification. Exactly how a Shadow Pokemon is purified is unclear. There are, appear to be several causes. We must eliminate reactions to these factors to create a Shadow Pokemon that will never revert back to their original purified forms. Shadow Pokemon Lab, Chief Ein. Found a macho bad brace, I believe, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure. Hello, Plusle. Rondell, Plusle! They yell it out because they decided to. <laughs> Rondell, you're safe, and so is Plusle! Yippee yeah, got away, but they think he's a red world. I don't know what to say. Why is it, uh, like, we said all the caps in this game. I think they were shortened down once you played uh, XD, or the caps were always there. Even as we are driven out, thanks to Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, what's that, plus? Oh, feeling hungry out of leaf? Relief? <laughs> okay. No, let's get me out of this moldy cavern. Yeah, great deal, Tilly. Thank you. Just gets me better. Maybe a bit later, because to shiny Pokemon. want to okay. All right, I got a plus one. This has been trying to the PC. I forgot you get a plus one in this game. Contact us to the PDA number. Let's see, switch to the left. All right, that's good enough for now. Let's go heal up first. Hello, sir. Kind of weird, your trainer, I guess. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to. I right, called up. Bring it on. A Sentry and a Talo. I forgot that this guy's also um, a trainer you fight against when you first enter Pyrite Town. Most of the people you talk to in this. Town in the first game are usually trainers that want to battle you or have our Pokemon ready for a battle. Well, this whole Pokemon team is filled up to the brim now, rather than I start from where I left the left top of mirror B just now. So, a funny thing I want to mention, which people mentioned before in this game, is that particularly with this game, um, most Pokemon. Um, from Gen 1 and 2, or at least the ones that didn't appear until this game, were all just basically grabbed their models from Stadium and brought back into here, so um, there's a slight difference with their shadows as opposed to what you'll see like in other Pokemon that were made for this generation, along with all Generation 3. Uh, generation three. Some of their shadows are pixelated, and some of their models definitely does not really look that edited it well into this game. You see what I mean when we encounter def specifically Generation 1 Pokemon. That's when you definitely tell that there's a slight difference in their model appearance. One I can obviously remember is that with Jumpluff, like, which is the evolution of Skeptical, which I have my team, I have been my TC that's ready for purification, um, their shadows were supposed to be these tough, like, circles, because, you know, it's jump fluff, and their their hands and the top of their head are all, you know, circles. <laughs> when you look at their shadows, their squares, it's like, it looks okay when you look at them from, like, the outside perspective, but you look at their shadow perspective, it's more likely that they look just, like, 3D shaded PNGs. Like a, with a green screen filter. You're already up with your emotions again. We, we just started this one. No, don't you critical hit me. Oh, wait, why do I use Colin Quillfish? I love the music in this game. I, it's it's Earth, the Mirror B theme, just keep gushing on it. 
This game has some really good music in the game. I know I made it repetitive and annoying, and XC is no different too, but honestly, the music is just... It, it, it fits with me. It was my first Pokemon game I played, and it was the one that was so oddballs to play with. It still had the Pokemon style and mechanics, but the way you play it was just like entirely different from what you usually are, normal, uh, you are, are normalized with. This is coming from a guy who knew po people who played the first generation Pokemon. In fact, I think my cousin's copy is still somewhere around in my house. The old copy of his for Blue. Hopefully I didn't miss any Shadow Pokemon. I think, um, the Pseudo Widow was the last one. I don't think there was any trainers that I had to deal with before reaching Year B. The last two trainers they passed by at the start of the video were the last one. So I went to Roller Skates and the one I defeated prior because that's where I got Swahloo. The Crocodile is the only Pokemon I get to play, uh, take at the start of the game when I was playing through this game the first time. I ended up playing through the game from start to finish. Because I, I already caught um, Bayleaf in, the, in my Elation run, and in my first time I played Typhlosion, I got Typhlosion. Okay, plus was the only Pokemon we have that can actually level up, which I'll probably put on the team once I finish up uh, getting the rest of the Shadow Pokemon ready for purification. If I remember correctly, the only last super Pokemon I need to purify that's not on my team is particularly um, Squablu and Sudowoodo. Go ahead and see what's there. Might as well go off and see what else is there that I haven't done yet in this game. Aw oh, man, this just the Pirate Town music it just feels like right at home again. This is such a cool theme. Yeah, but I just realized the name of all the uh, areas in this game were all rock-based since we're in the Ore region. Which I think continues in XD for most of the part. Hello, lady. You're outside your building. You have something to say? Ah, it might be imaginative, but this town here feels somewhat less dirty. Not at all as well, but I can feel the presence of Dark Ores coming from Shadow Pokemon. What, Fantine? Nothing escapes your notice. We didn't really talk to you. I never talked to you before. There is but nothing that eludes my notice of my fortune telling. <laughs> the key to freeing Pokemon that is from Black Aura is it to the north. Up north? That's where my grandpa lives, too. Oh no, I forgot. I was on my way to visit my grandpa. He lives in the Gate Village. We got the north of here. <laughs> Then you may not be not be a yeah, coincidence. Your answer may be there. Oh, my grandpa was a famous trainer when he was young. Maybe my grandpa would know something. Let's go to him. All right. Oh, we're already close to purifying Pokemon then, since we're about to reach Agate Village. Then I, I, I guess I'll just go ahead and train them up in the Coliseum just to get them ready. Well, I'm gonna go end the episode off um, for now. I'm gonna go ahead and actually I already I'll just tape again. But I'll see you all in the next episode because I don't want to go any further with this since I'm using the Olympus camera uh, for this episode. This is how far I can go anyway, so it's almost done. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye. That's not it. That's not it either. Is it just uh, the record button again? <laughs>